Good morning, loves. It's a beautiful Saturday. It's gonna be a hot day today. And today's day four, Yogi Scout. So it's a fast 35 minutes of a flow with weights. If you have them, please grab them. Whatever size weight is okay, depending on what you wanna do in this morning. So let's get started because we don't have too much time. All right, we're gonna start in front of our mats. And I will keep coming back to say hi to my peeps that show up. All right, let's do this together. It's a beautiful Saturday. I want you to be in front of your mat. Maybe this, the sound is too loud. Okay, right in front of your mat. Separate your feet. Toes are out. Just like that. You're going to separate your feet. Toes are out. More than hips distance apart. Maybe your hips, if you don't know, your hips are not here. Your hips are here. So hips distance apart. Feel grounded, close your eyes, we're gonna to start to roll the shoulders forward and back. A little bend in the knees so you don't have the legs straight, but you have a better foundation. So rolling the shoulders as you're breathing deeply and pay attention how the body feels this morning. Soften your eyes, soften your cheeks. And then two more of those. And then you let the body just notice. Nice long breaths here. What is your intention, guys? How do you want your day to be today? Very positive. This is my intention. So, as you take another breath, we're going to fold slowly down to the floor. Bend the knees and send your butt back. And then swing side to side. And then press the feet down, coming one bone at a time. So you feel right away that spine is awakened. Your legs and back muscles are awakened. And exhale, fold again. If you like swinging, you swing side to side. And then press your feet and coming back up. Arms up. Two more. Exhale, fold. And swing and relax your hands. And up. Yeah, the energy goes up into your legs. Arms to the sky. And then last time, exhale. And then from here, guys, you can either find a malasana slowly sinking the hips down. Take a nice breath in, lengthen in the spine. You can always sit in something. And then right away, we're gonna find a seated position. Oh, some people showed up. Hi, I'm going there. I can see from here who is there, but I will say hi in a little bit. So one bone at a time, we come down towards the mat. And then one bone at a time, we're gonna go up. Exhale, we're gonna do just four here. So we're not forcing your neck so early in the practice. So we go down. We take one more. And exhale. All right, reach the arms overhead. Maybe bring your hand underneath your head. And then lift your legs with the knees bent like 90 degrees. And then we're going to drop one knee at a time. And then we're going to lift the head. So one, two, and lift. As you lift, you try to take your sacrum off the floor too. Not pressing, sending too much tension for the neck. Use your hand. So it's an easy cardio. We're gonna start cardio. It's too early, guys. It's an easy core workout. It's, it's proven to be very empowering right in the beginning of the class. Gives you more energy, gives you more fire. And we need this in this class. All right, let's take three more. Yes, we can. I know it's early. I know how early some people wake up really early. So it is not that early. Our right, last one, exhale. Bring your feet, bring your hands, lift your hips, take a nice breath in here, and then exhale, release. Now, bring the hands underneath the uh, hamstring 
and press it towards you. And then reach it up. And then again, so we separate the knees and then we bring them together. Two more, I'm using my hands here to help. Keep your neck relaxed. All right, as the last one, before we keep going our flow, we're gonna lift the hips. Use your hands and your arms. Maybe you're not lifting that high. Maybe you're just right here doing little pulses, and that's perfect right there. And five, and four, and three, and two, and cross your legs. Coming here, hands to the front of your mats. Step back to a plank pose. Open the chest as you drop the belly, lift the tailbone, roll the shoulders, and look forward. Now give me a big circle with your head. And then exhale, around your spine, look toward the belly. One more time. Let the chest drop, look forward. Give a nice, slow circle with your neck. And then exhale round. Perfect. With your toes tucked, you lift your tailbone up to the sky. Make it joyful. Make this pose really good in your body. Tabletop. Plank pose. Exhale, tabletop. And then we reach back. Child's pose for one breath. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward dog. Plank pose. Drop your knees. Child's pose. Again, tabletop, exhale, downward dog. Plank pose. Drop your knees, child's pose. Inhale, exhale back. Inhale forward, knees down, child's pose. Last one, inhale, tabletop, exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank, knees down. Child's pose. Beautiful. Take that right hand off the mat and reach it up. Exhale, bring back to a child's pose. Inhale, lift your opposite one. A twist for the whole low inner thigh, waist. And then downward dog. All right, let's start to warm up the body. Right foot steps to the front of your mat. Left knee comes down. Arms reaching towards the sky. Exhale, fingers back down, step forward, on your way toward the mountain pose, exhale, inhale, arms up, exhale, fold over your legs, step now the right leg back, knee down, arms to the sky, hands back to the floor, downward dog, inhale, waving the spine toward the plank, exhale, chaturanga as you come down, Inhale, lift your heart, cobra upper dog. Press back down, our facing dog. Left foot goes first between the hands. Knee down, arms reaching towards the sky. Exhale, softly, gently. Drop your fingers, step to the front, all the way up. One more time, arms up. Exhale, fold. Left leg steps back now. Knee down. Sky with arms, hands to the floor. Step back, downward dog. Waving towards the plank, strong arms. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest, cobra upper dog. Downward dog. Now let's lift the right leg up to the sky and then step to the front of our mat. High lunge as you take a deep breath in. Exhale, fingers to the mat. Lift your back leg off the floor. Step to the front, bending both knees, chair pose. Stay with me for one breath. Fingers to the mat, pick up the right leg and step back. High lunge when you're ready. Exhale, hands back down. Pick that left foot and reach it all the way up to the sky. Step to the front of your mats. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, fingers to the mat. Step to the front. Chair pose. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Left leg goes back. Arms reaching up. High lunge. 
hands to the mat, right leg goes towards the sky, and then forward again. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, fingers to the mat. Lift your left leg, step forward. Chair. Hold here for one breath. Fold into your legs. Right leg steps back. High lunge, stay with me. Take a deep breath in. Hands down. Lift your left leg up. Now this time, hold it here. Keep sending your chest towards your leg, sinking the right heel down. Pivot your chest towards the mat. Now exhale, that knee goes all the way forward. Squeeze the air and bring it back. Exhale to the front and bring it back. Two more, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Step that left foot, drop your back heel down. Warrior one. So remember warrior one, hips are square. Heel is back, arms are up. Nice breath in here. Now here, we're gonna swing the hands to the inside of that front leg, and then all the way back as the right foot pivots. Okay, bring your fingertips down, drop your left knee on the floor, reach the arms up first, and then exhale, send it back, as we're gonna try to balance straight in that front leg and reach in the chest to the front. Hands come back down. Pick up the same right leg and reach it back. Exhale. Squeeze the air. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, guys. Stay with me. You can always do with the other knee on the floor. Step to the front. Slide the back foot, warrior one. Breathe in. Feel that stretch in the back leg. Now, arm swing to the inside, and then it goes out, and then all the way to the front of your mat. Drop that right knee, reach the arms up. Exhale, send your butt back as you hinge forward. Left toes leave the mat as you fold. Hands down, same left leg, and reach it up. Knee to front, squeeze. Inhale up, exhale, knee squeeze to the front. Back and up, two more, exhale. Inhale, and then step to the front. Warrior one, breathe in. Find your foundation in that warrior. And then we swing all the way to the back. Drop the back knee. Reach the arms. Exhale, fold over that right leg. Hands to the floor. Pick up the right. Reach it up. Exhale. Knees squeezing to the front. And up towards the sky. And forward. And back. And forward. Gonna be the last one. Step between your hands, warrior one, breathe in. Exhale. Fold and reach it all the way to the other side, right knee to the mat. Arms up to the sky. Exhale, send your butt back. Hinge forward as you breathe. Hands to the floor. Slide your left foot, finding your um, Hands and knees. If you want to use your weights, please. If not, that's okay too. We're gonna separate the knees a little more. Then hips. Bring your toes in. Tuck the tailbone under. Open up the chest. Squeeze into your glutes. Now, like imagine you're holding a big ball in front of you. You're trying to make the shape of the ball. As your butt's going back, if there's any knee issues, if there's any pain in your knees, you're gonna go back just enough and come back to squeeze. If you have knee issues, you just do with the arms. Exhale. Breathing, guys. I almost did the class outside today, but I was afraid of the sound. There's always someone mowing the lawn. Take three. And two, and one. Hands down, weights down, find your downward dog. All right, we're going 
gonna go to another flow. This time, open, spread your fingers, bend your knees, lift your tailbone up. Let's pump to the front. We're gonna pump for two. And then we pump with the right knee coming forward. Again, pumping for two, normal plank. And then now this left knee going forward, pumping two. One more time. All right, pump forward twice. Woo, I'm feeling this. And then the right knee twice. One and two. And pumping for two. And then the left knee. Pump forward. One and two. All right, guys, step the right foot forward. Find your warrior two. Sinking the hips. Feel grounded. Lifting that right hip bone away from that knee. Soften the shoulders. Nice breath. Take a deep breath in. Release the hand or the elbow towards the right leg. Reach the left arm all the way up. And over close to your face. When you're ready, straight that right leg for a trikonasana. Hold into the ankle. Or if you can find the floor, you can open that arm up to the sky. Breathe with me. Two more breaths. Roll those shoulders down. Left hand goes to the inside of the right foot. Maybe you fold a little bit. Maybe you need to bend a lot that knee. Lift your back heel. Let's twist as you reach the right. Nice breath in. Now if you want to block, if you have a block, or you can use your other weight to help you balance here. We're going to pick up the left leg back, sending all the way to the right. Okay, bring your hand back the right hand back, and balance here for three breaths. Nice and long ones. All right, now if you want to use your weight, you grab your weight in your right hand. You're going to pull that weight back, and then bring the weight towards the knee. So we pull it back, and then weight to the knee. So back, and to center. I don't know if you can see me. So we go back and then we pull it in. Back and in. So if you want a chair to hold, if your back hurts in this one, or if you have something to bring your hand so your chest is lifted higher from the floor. Oh my god, so I'm feeling. Take a few more here. And two. And one. Now step that left foot a little forward than the, the right. And then you fold just enough. Now, so I have my left foot one foot forward than my right. And with my block or with my other weight, that weight's going to be close to the left hand. And I'm going to try to open here. Okay? As you're working to straighten both legs. So reach it up. Reach it up. Breathe in and out. Take three and two. Always with a little bend in that elbow. And one. Amazing. Bend both knees. Bring your hands down to the floor. Drop your knees and start to open your heart between your arms. And come down. Inhale, lift your chest. And then exhale, lower your chest. Tuck your toes this time. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, hold here. One, two breaths. Exhale, press back, child's pose. You deserve it. Maybe swing side to side. Nice breaths in. All right. We're going to do the same thing as we did in the other side. And we're going to add in the pumping. Are you okay with that? Hope so. Tabletop. Downward dog, lift that butt. Breathe, roll those shoulders, bend the knees, let's pump it. So we pump twice, one and two. Then we bring one knee forward twice, one and two. And again, we pump forward, one. Make sure you're always using your core. So there is energy in the whole body. All right, one more set, ready? Pump for two, two. And then the right knee comes forward. One and two. 
And now the left. Let's go straight to the left. And two. Now stab that left foot between your hands. Warrior two pose. Hello, my warriors. Ready for this. Soften shoulders. Your body knows where you need to go. Sometimes where it's harder. So we're lifting that left hip bone away from that knee. Breathe, pressing both feet equally. Left elbow drops to that left leg. Right arm goes over, and the pinky finger is facing the floor. Another breath. Now you start to work into straightening that front leg, and open and reach that, those fingers up to the sky. Triangle pose. Gosh, I'm always, always eating my hair. Breathe. Another breath. We can do this. It's gonna feel good. My fingertips down to the mat. Turn it as you lift the back heel and find a twist. Woohoo! Knee and ankle. Now I'm using my block. If you want a chair or a stool, lifting the back leg. And let's work into balance here. So I have my uh, hand back. My other hand to support my balance. So squeeze into that core. Lift all the energy from your foot up to your hip. And if you want to use the weight, we're gonna pump. First, the elbow goes back, and then you bring the knee towards the weight. And we pump it back, and to the front. Back, and squeeze right here. Back, and squeeze. I believe we need to do four more. And in, back, two, back, and one. Step one foot forward on your left toes, right? Left hand finds your prop here where your right hand is. And then you lift. Use the momentum to lift. So use gravity to help you here. And your whole strength, especially your core strength. Two, and one. Beautiful. Release, step back to a plank pose. Knees down, open up the chest as you slowly surrender. Let's do three times, Cobra. And then exhale, fold. Always keep your elbows in. Tuck your toes in, trying to do the same thing. Exhale, and then one more time, inhale. And then reach back to a child's pose. Well deserved. Relax your forehead and the mat. And breathe nice and easy. Woo! We have time for one. What time is it? We have time for one more flow, guys. With weights if you want to. Take a look who's there. Hi, Leola. Hi, David. Hi, Jennifer. Bruna. Come on, guys. Let's do this together. Make sure you have your weights if you're using them. Spreading beautiful fingers. Reach back to a downward dog. Gonna lift the right heel face in the sky without opening the hip. There is a difference. This is I'm open, this is I'm closing. So hips are facing the mat. Now bring that knee to the face and the face to the knee. And then bending the back knee as you surrender both down, both down. Lift. Reach it back. Now we're gonna literally do twice this. And then we sink and lift and reach it back. Beautiful. Step between your mats. Both weights. You're gonna step forward towards a chair. And then we're gonna do two times here. Look to your weights. We pump one, elbows go back, two. Now the arms with the weights go forward and up. As we step the left, we're gonna start with the left leg. And then we do twice again. We come down for one and two. Now we're gonna do two this way. Elbows go back. We hinge forward, touch the floor. And touch the floor. Again, from the beginning. 
Chair pose. We pump those elbows back for two. Inhale, same left leg. And then we go here for two. One, two. And then we hinge forward. We pump for one, two. Again, same leg, chair pose. Exhale, exhale, arms forward, leg back for two, one and two. And then elbows go back, one, trying to touch the floor, two. Last one with that leg, guys. We're almost done, pump it, one, two. Arms forward, step back, let's go. One, two, hinge forward, elbows back. One, touch, two, touch. Release your weight. Step back. Now breathe nice and easy here for me. And then slide your right knee forward for a pigeon. Slide your left foot back. Maybe give yourself permission to swing. Less breath. Woo. I needed this. Tuck your back toes under. And then you step back to a normal downward dog. Start with the left leg going up. Remember to close those hips as that knee comes towards the forehead. Forehead towards the knee, bending the right. Sink and lift and reach. Exhale, just one more time. And reach. Beautiful. Send that foot to the front of your mat. And then let's start right away. Chair pose. Let's do two pumps. One, two. Now the right leg goes back. Arms swinging up. And then we go for two, bending both knees. One, two. Hinge forward, bending the elbows. As we reach back, we touch the floor and trying to straight that leg. Again, chair pose. Pump the arms back. One and two. Swing them, right leg goes back. Let's do one and two. And then hinge, back, touch for two. Two more times, guys, we can do this together. One, arms forward and up. Bend and up. Swing, down. A lot of precision. Last one. Come for two. Arms forward. Leg back. And we pump here for two. One, two. Arms. Exhale. All right. Release the weights. Let's find our pigeon right away in the other leg. And then we breathe here. Swing side to side if you need to. Woo! It's getting hot. All right. Bring that back leg forward. Finding a seated position just for a moment to catch up with your breath. Roll shoulders back. Maybe do a nice loving kindness with your neck here. All right. Bring your hands back. Bending the knees, soles of your feet on the floor. We're going to lift the hips up to the sky. And then exhale. See if your butt can slide and you can hold with your arms and bring the butt between the hands. And then we we'll reach back up. Now keep going. If you have blocks, this variation makes it easier. If you have two blocks and then you lift, depending on your arm also length, and then using the blocks here. It's a core and really nice for the arms to keep pressing yourself. Keep squeezing so your toes come into the chest. Engaging those quads as we take two more. And up. And between the legs, or oh, between the blocks. And last one. Exhale. All right, it looks like our time is almost done. Hands together. Oh, I'm thirsty. Just like how we started. So hands together. 
sit bones on the mat. Find your way down, one bone at a time. Pick up the right knee and bring to your chest. See if you can slide your left leg as you straight that leg. Remember, this is the most important part of the class, of course, before Shavasana. So stretching, we did a lot for the low back. So I have my block here supporting my inner foot, but you can support your knee. As you're sending that knee away from that right side chest, and then maybe do a no with your head, and then let's do the other side. Pick up the leg, the other knee, slide the right away from you. Breathe here. Right hand holds the outside of the leg and then you bring it to the other side. And then again, you hold and breathe. See the places that you, you use so much energy. See if you can now release the tension. And then we bring it back and then separate the knees. Give some love to your ankles. Press the foot back on the floor. We're gonna do a bridge here. But you also stretch the shoulders. As you lift the hips, see if your arms can go underneath and then you can interlace your fingers underneath. And then keep walking your hands maybe close to your heels as your head stretches, <laughs> as your neck stretches back, as you press the upper back into the mat and lift your hips higher and keep the breath going. Don't look to the side. Just stay here with me for one and two. And then exhale, I'm doing the hands. Do anything else that the body feels like because we have just a couple minutes. If you need to do, if you need to do our practice all over again, please do it. If 35 minutes is not a good place, it's if you need more and more, you please do it. Otherwise, come join me for a little shavasana. Literally, a little shavasana. So you can find some props here if you need to. And I have my blocks underneath my, my legs and tilted a little bit so I have that support for my low back. Taking that out of my hair, relaxing my head down, and I hope you're feeling the same, I hope you're doing the same. And take a moment to just notice the body, how it feels right now. Separating your lips so you can surrender your jaw. Maybe letting your head go side to side so you can surrender your neck and your head. Releasing from the fingers to the toes, from the toes to the top of your head. Relaxing the belly and the chest. Relaxing the legs, the muscles in the legs, the muscles on your back, your arm muscles, your chest, and your face. Take your gentle time here. Taking your self-love time, if you have the time to do it. And taking a nice few more moments to really enjoy the weight of your body. Pressing into the earth. You can actually feel the pull of gravity. 
enjoying this moment to get closer to your true nature. Stay here, friends, for as long as you need to. And I really wish you a beautiful Saturday full of laughters and working outside. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you all soon. Don't forget Monday we're doing a special uh, park uh, exercise with the whole team and I hope to see you there. Bye.